Ahoy, I'm Swanik. In this logic tutorial, I will show you three tips for live looping with Logic Pro 10. I'll cover how to end recording automatically when you need your hands free, how to record overdubs, and finally how to set count in time for recording and playback. Okay, so I'll walk you through the most important cell settings for live looping today. Mainly we will look at the settings for play mode, play from and recording. These are actually the same for audio and MIDI tracks. So even though I'm only using MIDI today, the tips in this video will apply to audio tracks too. By default, Logic will end recording a cell after you press record again. Let me demonstrate this real quick. I need to manually stop recording by pressing the record button again. Obviously, I could be using an external controller, like a foot pedal for that. But let's assume you don't have a convenient way to stop recording, and you want to make Logic stop recording automatically after you've finished recording your loop. You can create a cell that stops recording automatically if you follow these simple steps. First, create an empty cell. Then you set the cell length to the length of your loop. Let's do a one bar loop. Now you need to tell Logic to stop recording after the cell length is over. You do this by editing the rec length setting. Set rec length to cell length and you're good to go. Let's try to record the drum loop again. Boom! This works great. So the first setting you need to remember is the rec length setting. Set it to cell length and recording will automatically stop after your cell length is over. But what if you don't want to stop recording, but want to record more layers instead? Like maybe to create a drum loop by layering a couple of drums on top of each other. All you need to do is to change the add rec end setting. Change to play mode will stop recording after the rec length is over. And continue recording will enable you to record overdubs. You also need to pay attention to the recording setting. It lets you choose to record individual takes, merge them or to replace the recorded loop with a new one. To record overdubs, set it to merge. Let's create a new cell, set the cell length to 1, set rec length to cell length and add rec end to record. If you want to end recording now, just press the record button again and Logic will automatically end recording at the next quantized start point. But wait, what's a quantized start point? It took me a while to understand quantized start myself. Basically it tells Logic how long to wait with playback or recording after you hit record on a cell. Pay attention to the little circle in the top right corner of the screen. It not only shows you the current position of the global quantization circle, but also indicates the global quantized start point. The global quantized start point can be chosen from the settings right next to the circle. Let's take a look at how the cells behave when I choose different settings. Another important setting for recording loops is the count in time in the project settings. But it's important to know that it will be overruled by the quantized settings in the live loops mode. The 
did you notice how the cell title changes if you click on an empty cell or in the blank area? When it says MIDI defaults or audio defaults, you can edit the default settings for all new cells. If you click on an empty cell instead, you can edit the individual cell settings for this particular cell. Before I end, I want to encourage you to experiment with the different settings yourself. Find out what works best for your own setup and songs. And also please let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more tutorials like this one. I'll add links to my performance videos and future tutorials in the description below. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button if you think these tips were useful. Thank you.